So we all remember the press conference last year with Logan Paul and KSI. There was a lot of shouting. Dan Watson! Whoa! Watson! Okay, okay. A lot of product placement. Whoa! And then you had the UK press conference as well, which in my eyes was KSI's brother's redemption arc. Logan's gonna fuck up KSI, Whoa! and then I'm gonna fuck up KSI. Training is amazing, all right? I'm training to destroy you, and that's what the, everyone's gonna see August 25th. And that is it. <laughs> And now all I think he does is film videos where he, he eats ch chips. <laughs> but now, everyone, we finally have round two of the press conferences. For, look, all right, it's a low-hanging fruit. You've seen them before. I... I just need to get this out before PewDiePie does, all right? Hold up, bros. I got a quick announcement. Do you want to meet me in person? Do you want to ask me the deep questions of life or give me an entire glazed leg of ham as an offering? Well, the 9th and 10th of November, I'll be at Insomnia Dublin in Ireland, home of the potato and green PewDiePie. Go to this link here to buy a single day or weekend ticket and also be entered into the prize draw where the winner will get a goodie bag and a VIP meet and greet with me, which basically means I'll talk to you for a little bit longer without punching you in the throat. Again, use the links down below to enter yourself in. Do it now or I won't upload Petscop 2 and it'll be all your fault. Also, if Ireland's too far away, you could support the channel by buying one of my U2s. There's only 10% left, so uh, give me your money now. So it seems they did a Twitter poll here for who's gonna win. I'm, I'm gonna give a sympathy vote to Logan Paul. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Poor Logan. In his own country as well. It's alright, Logan. I'm sure your bank account will be a uh, Several million heavier after this. November 9th, mark the day. If you're here in Los Angeles or anywhere flying, it is going to be the biggest sporting event of the year, I guarantee it. And you do not appear to have enough gems. Yeah, here's the deal. There's been some criticism in the world of boxing, people who subscribe here to DAZN, some of the boxing purists have you, that say this is kind of a joke. But who? Yeah. <laughs> I love how they both just can't shoot that comment down. I, I mean, they... wait. This is stupid. We're just making rich people richer. Sorry. Come back when you have more gem. I'm here with Natalie. She is Logan's biggest fan. You even made a sign for him. Why are you excited to be here today? I am so excited because I know he's going to win. He's going to whip KSI's ASS. Now you can tell that she's a Logan Paul super fan by the fact that she has to censor herself in public. When he's gonna whip KSI's ASS. You, you don't want to demonetize the conference just yet. Come on, we got we got mid-rolls to put in. All right, you guys, the crowd is going nuts behind me here, but I grabbed Salvador from the crowd, a huge KSI fan. Why are you excited for this fight? Because, I mean, KSI's already, like, trained so much, and I know Logan's trained so much. Last fight, they got a draw, and now this fight, there's obviously gonna have to be a winner, and maybe even a knockout. I don't know what he's saying, but... He's got a shirt on that says Virginity Rocks. So in my book, total giga chad. Do you ever get recognized by people over the age of 20? There's always madness. Here they are, first ladies and gentlemen, Logan Maverick Paul. I'm sorry, wait, did, did Logan hire that black guy just to cheer him on? Yeah. Seriously, like, no one in the crowd is cheering for him apart from the guys already on his team. The Nightmare KSI! Woo, KSI! Yay! <laughs> so this is the point where, you know, the confrontation happens, they both take off their $50,000 sunglasses and they just put their foreheads against each other like some kind of mating ritual. Now the thing is, the mic isn't even on them for some reason, so you can't even hear what they're saying. So I'm going to make the brave choice to edit in what I think they're saying. Stop screaming! Stop! I've made a severe and continuous collapse. And then uh, Jake Paul just comes on with a, a Cuban cigar for no reason. <laughs> blows it in KSI's face. And then I think he made a tweet later saying that <laughs> KSI's is ashtray. Also, I was checking Jake's Insta story and all he's been doing is flexing that Cuban cigar. Like, mate, we get it. You're old enough to smoke now. Jesus. Oh, yeah, you watch on the internet, on YouTube. And now they're gonna get a chance to see this as a professional contest. Little pussy. You're like every kid that hangs outside a corner shop. Look here. Here, yeah, champ. Here, yeah, champ. Yeah, champ. Look how short he is, champ. 
Why is that guy Logan's with like a human Twitch chat? Yeah, Do you really need a guy to jerk you off to build up the courage to confront KSI? That and your brother doing the, the ashtray bit, like you're making KSI look like the underdog, which makes you look worse. Logan Paul, KSI! Oh! Did he just stick his tongue out? 200 bravery. I commend you. Also, someone made a tweet comparing this press conference to the UK one last year. JJ has no dick. JJ has no dick. JJ has no dick. JJ has no dick. Yo. The pools. The pools. I love how you've got Logan's little minion stepping up and he keeps adjusting his shirt. Like, yeah, bro, I'm I'm gonna fight you, bro. But like, you know, I'm I ain't moving. I'm just gonna adjust my, my shirt a lot, bro. Y'all yeah, know that. Ain't gonna be nothing extra when you sit down. Y'all yeah, know that. Y'all yeah, know that. He's like an Alzheimer's patient. Like, did, did they just steal this guy from a ward or something? He just keeps repeating the same thing. Over and over. Yeah, he is the equivalent of these text-to-speech Reddit channels I keep complaining about. Like, mate, we get it. We all repeat. We all waffle on. We all want to get the video over 10 minutes, but oh, oh my God. God. Last time we were in Britain, we had America versus Britain. This time it's Britain versus USA. But how does the crowd feel? Who's with KSI? Listen. I like how they're trying to push this narrative of, like, UK against America. Tactical new! <laughs> But at the end of the day, it's just two YouTubers that want to make their 20 million each. But also, one thing I love is how little the money is mentioned, despite that being the main motivator for these two people going against each other. Money, 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 money. Who's with Logan Paul? <laughs> I like how even Logan looks confused. No one's cheering me on, apart from my five collective stands over there. The reason we're here is because this amazing new streaming app, The Zone, have supported this event. Ladies and gentlemen, MVP of The Zone, Joe Markowski. Yeah, I love Dayzone. Dayzone, more like these nuts. Also, one thing I love about Dayzone, they keep promoting it, saying it's amazing. You can't even get it in the UK. Like, you, you need a VPN to access this live stream. Great move, guys. We're proud of you. Proud of you. Let's go, champ! Yeah! We here now, y'all! <laughs> you know when a guy tries to pull off his entire face like a Scooby-Doo villain, he gonna spit some real facts. <laughs> If you guys couldn't tell already, let's go chat. This is catchphrase. What you you didn't get that? Okay, let me repeat it thirty thousand times a day while also wearing a shirt saying the same catchphrase. Do you, do you guys get it yet? That is my catchphrase. I said champ chong. It's like me walking out in the street with a shirt saying "So guys, we did it." We, we get it's your meme. USA, England is a great country. I love my people. They all great people around the world. But I'm gonna tell you something. My boy gonna be more or more prepared. <laughs> UK bad, but not that bad. No, we still want fans. Good. Me forget to take medication. Brain hurt. Let's go, champ. Straight back to the the Alzheimer's ward. <laughs> KSI's head trainer, Vidal Riley. Hey, hey. I never heard of it. That's cool. That's cool. Go, no one's heard of you for the last five years, but it's okay. It's okay. Oh, did he just do a big roasty? I mean, he's not wrong. When I see Briggs, unfortunately, because of his association with Logan, I just see him as this little minion. He's kind of like a woody figure. You know, you just pull on the string on the back and you just keep saying the same thing over and over. Let's go, champ! Hey, you gonna make me stand here this year? I can't move around? The fuck? God damn it. He just sounds so unenthusiastic to be there. Like, you know at this point, they're only there to collect the paycheck. Hey, even your fans want me to knock you out. Because I don't think anyone likes you. Your brother doesn't like you. Where's Deji at? That's a low blow, Logan. How could Deji record his reaction video if he was there on stage at the time? Your brother doesn't like you. Where's Deji at? Mr. and Mrs. KSI, thank you. I fucking love you for giving me the opportunity to beat the shit out of your asshole son. You can just hear all the stands in the background creaming their pants. And by the way, JJ, you're looking a little thick and you smell like herpes. 
I could smell your mouth and you smell like herpes. This is the most seven year old insults I've heard in my life. You smell like herpes. Oh, stinky. Oh. I remember seeing an article on Logan Paul saying that he wishes his fan base were older. Logan, are you really surprised? At this point, you and Morgs are the same person. How many years have you worn that bandana? I can't take it off because last year you glued it on your fucking head. I had your wig. Nah, bro. Yo, nah, oh, nah, I've nah. made a severe. And <laughs> say it, hey, say yo, again. Where's, where's Greg? Where's Greg? Greg Poole. GP's in Ohio. Shout out, GP. We love you, Dad. Hey. Oh, what? He's hey. in Ohio. Oh. Ah, this year sucks. This sucks. This, this sucks. It's so unorganized. They clearly, like, last year, it's clear that they had, like, a script or something that they followed or some guidelines. Here, they just have nothing. Like, they're winging it, and it's preschool insults. Because, uh, by the way, your own fucking brother said I'm going to win this fight. It's funny, because uh, he says that. And Deji disproves that in literally five seconds. Your own fucking brother said I'm gonna win this fight. Wait, I see. I, what did I say? My words get twisted. I All I said is Logan has an edge. I did not say he was gonna win. I said, because he carried on training. JJ took a hiatus. God bless you for defending your brother, Deji. You're one of the real ones. Now go make another video where you <laughs> blend food. What the fuck do you do? Make it happen, then. Do you make, make YouTube videos? You've clickbaited my face five times! Pick a profession! I find it ironic that Logan's complaining about clickbait when his entire YouTube career was built on clickbait. I still remember that video of Logan Paul saying he bought a $3 million watch. He didn't. He got it out of the display cabinet and put it on his wrist. Great, man. Proud of you. First of all, before I talk about you, Logan, I want to talk about Jay. Let's talk about Jay real quick. The dude he you're fighting! He made a video saying f KSI. F KSI, but he, instead of an F, PH. Real nice, real nice. Go, so make are you sure talking about you semantics, bro? Re re make sure you don't uh, make the kids, you know, upset. Hey, KSI, come on, man. Like, he, he did it because he doesn't want to get demonetized. Like, he's a, you know, he's, he's a humble boy. In this fight, you're going to be Kong, and I'm going to be the fucking coyote. That, that was fucked up. That, you ah, nah, you ah, ah, that was fucked up. Ah, ah, you just ruined my day. Now, I will admit, it's a low blow for KSI to be going on about Logan Paul's dog, Kong, that died. Uh, but keep in mind... The only reason Logan got that dog in the first place was to flex in a video. Great, you look at this. I need that. I need that in my life. I need this dog. Who owns this dog? Right there. You own this dog. How much for the dog? Zero six five one. Twenty five. Twenty five hundred dollars for this dog. I'll buy this dog for twenty five hundred dollars. You had so many YouTubers featuring. You promoted the shit out of it. And how many people came to the event? The charity how event. How many came? Like a tenth the of the whole charity arena. Charity event. A tenth of the whole the arena. The track and field that's, charity that's event. That's pretty poor, man. I like the formula for these events, by the way. One person will say something, other person will try and drown them out by saying the same thing over and over. Like everyone has taken what Shannon Briggs started doing and just carried it on. Let's go, chat. Bro, people are saying you don't have a dick out there. Go no, ask your mom. Hey, your mom's right there. Hey, how's my dick? Hey, mom, does JJ hey, have a dick? Hey. No. <laughs> Yee. What? No. What? Mom came in for the roast. Mom joined in the roasty. I don't know what's worse, how terrible that roast was, or the fact that Logan Paul's manager just tried to bro fish his mom and totally got denied. Do me a favor. Whoa. These next 55 days are going to be the best days of your life. Oh, Take sweet. a break. Stop training. Seriously, okay, okay. soak it up. Because okay, the rest of your life, yeah. after November 9th, uh -huh. you're going to be miserable. Okay. Yo, JJ, go. Okay. Go, hey. go skydiving, bro. Clip this. Hey, go bake a cake. Go fall in love, my guy. Do something fun. Yeah. To be honest, nah, to be honest, Logan, like, you know what I'm gonna say. Yeah. But if you can get away with showing a body, I think even if KSI loses, he'll be absolutely fine. USA! 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 Truly a great time to be an American. I love the fact how the odds are against him, so he's just like generalizing. White white bread. You guys like Hovis full white bread? Yeah, hell yeah. You guys like sparkling water? This is very exciting. Um, I don't see who wouldn't want to watch this fight. I know I want to see it. I, 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 feel like they did, I feel like they did a little bit too much. What do you mean too much? This was horrible. It's, it's the worst press conference yet. <laughs> Lo oh, well, that's that's nice for the children Lo to Logan see at home. Paul. At least they know their target demographic. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm here with the fighter himself, Logan Paul. How do you feel after that press conference? I'm disappointed. What the fuck was that? He gave me nothing. A lot that's of trash talk. That's the best he got. I saw the fear in his eyes. He had nothing to say. He sat down. What? Who knows? Who knows body language? Watch his demeanor. I like how Logan's coming across as some therapist. Like, he's probably seen one of those, like, 
body language analysis videos on YouTube. You both had no material. Don't blame it on KSI. This was terrible on both parts. Do you think you have the home field advantage here in Staples Center? Yeah, for sure. My fans are amazing. Could you just play the clip of his fans applauding him again? Who's with Logan Paul? So yeah, overall, this is the worst press conference yet. It was so sleep. It was actually really hard to make a video on because there was just, just nothing happened. There was no material from either side. Like the past press conferences, there was so scripted and forced, but at least there was like content out of it. Anyway, if you guys enjoy, please subscribe to the channel. Buy the merch. Pretend I'm wearing merch right now. And uh, yeah, just go have a lovely life with your wife and just enjoy life, man. <laughs>